What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be doing the first ever video on AFLW. The Port Adelaide women's team will be starting their campaign in round one this week against the West Coast Eagles over in WA this Saturday at 2.40pm SA time. I'm very much excited and keen to see how the girls go this week. It's going to be a massive, massive week for the club. It's history making, or as the club has been describing it, as her story making. It's going to be amazing to see what uh, we can achieve in the AFLW. Another great milestone for this football club. So I thought, let's do a season preview. Let's point out what we're going to look forward to, some of the players to watch, and just the overall what we can experience in Season 7 of the AFLW. It's going to be a massive, it's the biggest one yet. Four expansion teams, including Port Adelaide, are joining the season, so it's going to be yeah, fantastic to see. So let's get straight into it and preview Port Adelaide AFLW Season 1. As I mentioned, it is Season 7 of the AFLW, but it is Port Adelaide's first season in the competition. The long-awaited entry into the competition, and I think, for one, this should have been a priority long before than when it was announced, but we've done it right. We've developed Adelaide uh, at Alberton Oval into a state-of-the-art facility for the girls. They've got their own change rooms, their own facilities, and you know, a fantastic uh, team working with them. That, uh, that is led by Lauren Arnold in, in the coach. And, and she's going to be amazing to see exactly how uh, it all pans out with her at the helm. Obviously, some fantastic coaches on board as well, including Hamish Hartlett. Uh, I can't be too biased um, being a coach in terms of having favourites and those, those types of things. But I, I'm the um, I'm the backline coach. I've got a fantastic group of girls back there that uh, they're, they're super physical. Um, they're very, very desperate. Um, in the way they defend, which I absolutely love. Um, there's probably a couple that spring to mind uh, in terms of the way they play, and um, they are Hannah Dunn and Indy Taho. And we know that the, the team itself are going to be led by Aaron Phillips and Foley as well. It's going to be amazing to see their leadership around the board. And you know, uh, it, it was mentioned by our coach this week um, that you know, 16 of the 30 players on the squad are, have never played. AFLW before, but they've, they've been experienced, they've been well-driven for the 11 weeks they've been together fully. This is a massive occasion, and yeah, it's been a shorter turnaround since the previous season, and we're coming up against experienced competition, but I can't see why not we can't start all a few teams, and, and maybe, and quite possibly, um, you know, push even deeper into the AFLW campaign, but for now, I think there's no expectation on this group of girls. It's going to be massive for the club. And I think, you know, striving for success. We're going to be playing at Alberton, um, you know, for all our home games and, and, and just you know, witnessing a bit of a difference. And hopefully all Port supporters can get on board, like everyone that subscribed to the channel, everyone that watches Port Adelaide men's. You know, this is a different type of atmosphere and it's very exciting. You can tell the girls are very excited. They've become very, um, you know, very close in, in terms of their relationships. Hutto and I interviewed them for the Inner Sanctum with a few quick fire questions. If you'd like to check that video out as well to get the name a bit more and, and see their personalities. You know, Maggie McLaughlin seems to be someone that's uplifting and, and you know, very entertaining. Uh, we obviously had Aaron Phillips on the video as well, who's a star player. And it's going to be good to get to know a few of the girls um, and, and, and the different personalities because I think you know the recruits that we've got, but also the young girls that have come in, the, the recruits and... Um, the draftees, it's a bit of freshness around the football club. And I think it's exactly what we need, especially from what we've had in the men's season. And, and I'm glad it's not going to be compared either. And this is something that I think the the AFLW the have really tried to distance themselves from, is creating their own environment, creating their own competition and, and really trying to stand out. And you know, the change of scenery and the change of you know timing with August and going into the AFL finals really bring a, a breath of fresh air. Uh, we, we've already known about other um, teams, you know, Marvel with Essendon versus Hawthorne has become you know, a bigger venue for for the AFLW to play in. Um, obviously, the, the showdown for the AFLW is going to be played at the Adelaide Oval, and it's another historic occasion. So, this is a massive season. It's the season one of Port Adelaide, and I'm very much looking forward to see what it brings. We've seen the announcement of the squad. We've seen the fixture. Everyone's up to date. Very much a real freshness around the AFLW, and in particular, the Port Adelaide W team, and 
I'm very much looking forward to covering uh, every single week. That's what I'll be doing for the channel. So I'm looking forward to that. That's the first thing I'm looking forward to. The next thing I'm looking forward to um, for the Port Adelaide AFLW team is playing our home games at Alberton Oval. Obviously, we see the Magpies play there um, every second week or so, but it's been redeveloped. It's been designed and featured to be you know, designated around the girls with their own change rooms and and there are you know, the different atmosphere it may bring. It's going to be packed house. You know, we've seen the precinct redeveloped. We've seen um, you know the museum and and the amount of history that the men's have created. And now it's time for the girls to create their own atmosphere and their own history. And season one's a massive year. And playing your own uh, your own games at Hal at Halberton. Playing your own games, um, you know, in front of a good Port Adelaide crowd at Alberton Oval is something really really special and. Um, you know, the men don't get to do that too often unless it's for the Magpies and they get to train there every single week and, and to have it back at Albert and Oval is such a special place for Port Adelaide supporters so seeing the women's team playing there is such a big uh, a big thing for, for the football club and for the AFLW as well so I'm looking forward to seeing home games at Albert and Oval and the first one, first ever AFLW home game for Port Adelaide will be played next weekend against the Western Bulldogs at 1.10pm on the Saturday at Alberton Oval. So make sure you're down there to support the girls because that's going to be absolutely massive in itself. What's next to look forward to? Well, uh, um, the showdown. The first showdown will be played September 30th on the Friday night at the Adelaide Oval. It's going to be a massive atmosphere. The Crows obviously have been very successful in the AFLW in, in the past seasons and they're coming up against a young, young, um, young Port Adelaide side with Aaron Phillips now crossing the border to her rightful home um, in Port Adelaide Colors, uh, Colors and the skipper as well, wearing the famous number one. And we've seen the video of her with her dad, Greg Phillips. It was absolutely so special to see and witness. So um, that's going to be a massive game. So mark that in your diaries. It's the long weekend, the Friday night. Get there to Adelaide Oval um, and, and make sure you're supporting the girls. And hopefully we can do what the men did back in 1997 and win the first showdown. I'm not going to speak about the fans in particular at the moment because I know um, you know, there's been a fair bit of interest, especially you know with with the women fans and and, and everyone that supports Port Adelaide as a whole getting around the AFLW, and it's going to be great to see. And when you become a fan of of a team, and you know the, all the young girls are going to grow up, they're going to be like, oh, Port Adelaide, you know we you know we love Port Adelaide, we love Travis Boak, we love we have a fan, we have a favourite that plays for Port Adelaide, Connor Rosie at the moment. Who's going to be the fan favourite? for Port Adelaide in the women's. I know Aaron Phillips is a big star. Gemma Houghton's going to be tough and great down forward. Is it going to be the young stars that we develop? You know, the the Tickle, the Dersma. Um, you know, it, it could be the young Hannah Ewings that we got in, in the draft. Or is it going to be Ebony O'Day, who's travelled through multiple clubs? She's, you know, I have actually, um, you know, know her brother as well. So that's going to be quite a, an interesting link there as well, if, if people have links with, with the girls. And, it's going to be interesting to who becomes a fan favourite. And it's always the ones you'd least expect. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing who becomes a fan favourite. Because once you have a connection with a player, you know, like myself with Travis Boke, you have that connection and it, it makes everything a lot more better and the experience a lot more um, enjoyable. So it'll be interesting to see who comes out as a fan favourite. Speaking of fan favourites, let's talk about Aaron Phillips for a second. The captain, the inaugural captain of the Port Adelaide, Port Adelaide AFLW team. She's been at the Crows. She's been a Crosstown rival. But we've always had that special spot for her. She's wanted to come home. She's wearing the number one. She's wearing, representing her dad. Um, you know, the great family atmosphere that Phillips family have with Port Adelaide. The culture she's going to bring. She's a leader. She's a fantastic human being. And it's just going to be amazing to see her in Port Adelaide colours. So I think out of everything, the first showdown, the first game at Alberton, you know, who becomes a fan favourite? Aaron Phillips is definitely one of the fan favourites. And... Um, yeah, it's history in the making for her, uh, history history in the making for the footy club. But I think if there's one thing you're looking forward to, it's seeing Aaron Phillips kick a goal in Port Adelaide colours. Okay, let's have a look at some players to watch or look out for in the first season for Port Adelaide in the AFLW. I'm going to stick with the recruit, uh, who I think will be the recruit of the year. It's Gemma Houghton. We know her talents. She's a great forward. She's, fear she's fearful. She's damaging as well, and she's going to be amazing to watch up um, you know, especially inside 50. And with the space that she'll get, um, we're not the tallest of forward lines down there, but we're creative and we're quite quick on our toes and we're going to be very much a pressure forward team um, and, and playing a lot of attacking footy. So 
once we get it on the end of it, um, a few attacks, it's going to be uh, Gemma Houghton there at the forefront. Another one to watch is Indy Tahu. I think she's going to be amazing to witness her talents. And probably the other one that I've, I've really been impressed with is um, young Alex Ballard. From, uh, she's a young girl that we drafted from Sturt. She's got uh, fantastic footy IQ and uses the ball really well. So uh, we like the ball in her hands. So. Um, yeah, you know, she, She's become... I think one of the one of the coaches' favourites as well. It's going to be interesting to see how she plays and how she develops in the Port Adelaide system. Um, and, and I have no doubt that Arnold's going to have a plan for her and her plan of attack is she's been another again another recruit, and it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, the the number one recruit, well, I say in the draft, and we were pick three in the draft, and we got Hannah Ewings. She's a South Australian girl from um, from North Adelaide. She's going to be very much a very energetic, enjoyable player to watch. And I think um, from what I'm hearing is she's training the house down. She's become an amazing uh, personality around the club. And having that energy around the ball, especially as a first-year player, is going to be crucial. Fitness will definitely come into it. But overall, I think that's going to come into a lot of factors with uh, Port Adelaide in the first season is how we develop as a fitness side. And that will only come with games played. And there's only eight or nine of them. And lastly, I just want to mention the sisters of the Port Adelaide players in um, in Teagle and Dersma. Yasmin Dersma, in particular, presented the Guernsey from her brother Xavier, and it's going to be interesting to see how they play. Does she whip out the bow and arrow? Um, it'll be so funny to watch, actually, to see that come out. And then Teagle as well. Um, you know, Bryn Teagle's sister and, and the way she plays... It's just going to be enjoyable to see that, that Port Adelaide family culture as well come into the AFLW, and I think that's the most exciting part as well. And the best thing, and the overall best thing that we're going to be doing, and I'm going to be doing this as well with all the fans, this is the most important thing. I say what's to watch, what players to watch out for, and I say what to look forward to. You can preview as many things as possible, but it's the learning experience that we're going to have as a Port Adelaide community and as Port Adelaide fans Watching the girls train, play, getting to know the players, getting to know names that you've never heard of before, getting different names stuck in your head. And that's the best part about footy is you get to learn and see and experience different things. And with the AFLW, this is what I'm most excited about. is about learning something different about players that we've never heard of before, about bringing them in as the Port Adelaide family. I saw two um, male supporters embrace Gemma Houghton in the Port store when Port Adelaide were doing their open training for Robbie Gray's last game. The training before the showdown, they embraced Gemma Houghton and were saying how fantastic it is to see the girls train and play and be a part of Port Adelaide culture. And we saw that with the interest when it was in the trial match. We were dominating Essendon for a half. And in the end, obviously, unfortunately, you know, fell away a bit when we rested a few players. But the interest is there. The energy's there, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what the AFLW has in store for Port Adelaide because it's her story in the making. Thanks for watching, Port fans. I know it's been a uh, different type of um, season preview. It's obviously for the AFLW. This is a new experience for me. It's going to be a new experience for every fan as well, one I'm very much looking forward to. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for AFLW content. Get your sisters, your friends, your girlfriends, your wives, everyone on board because we want to make this a massive campaign this year for season one. So get on board. Make sure you join the AFLW membership as well through Port Adelaide. I look forward to seeing you at games and also doing reviews for the games every single week. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthony and as always, come the girls.